Here we're going to look at the behavior of a liquid vapor mixture, in this case water. If we have that mixture in a constant volume container and then we add heat. So if we do that, and, and we're going to observe this behavior on a pressure volume diagram, but, but keep in mind this is log pressure and it's log volume. So there are three possible behaviors. So for the point that we're looking at, the volume for the black dot here, the volume is greater than the critical volume. The critical volume is this volume. This is the critical point, which for water is at 22.1 megapascals and 647 Kelvin. So that's for water. The volume's greater. And in the particular point that we're looking at, this is only 1% vapor. So quality is only 0 0.01. But remember, this is a log scale. If we're going to heat up at constant volume, eventually we're going to hit the saturated vapor line. And so the container that starts out mostly vapor and a small amount of liquid, remember 1% of the vapor... This is by mass, but by volume, it's much, much larger, of course. As we heat it, the container is going to have smaller and smaller amount of liquid, more vapor, but the vapor is going to be denser. So the, the vapor density increases, or as you can see from the diagram, the vapor-specific volume, which is here when we start, and eventually becomes here. And so at some point we would have all vapor if we heat this constant volume container. Another possibility, of course, then volume is less than the critical volume. So we're sitting somewhere down here, which means the container is gonna look something like this, where this is liquid and then vapor is here. As we heat this, you can see it changes slowly, but eventually we hit the saturated liquid line. And so this says that what happens is eventually we have all liquid, no vapor. And this is because as we raise the temperature of the liquid, the liquid expands slightly, that vapor condenses, and eventually we have all liquid. The third possibility is that we pick exactly the right amount of water in the container so the volume is exactly equal to the critical volume. So we start here, and if I draw on this right, and we raise the constant volume, we'll hit the critical point. So you notice even when we're here, we have both vapor and liquid present, and eventually this interface between the liquid and the vapor disappears. So as we raise the pressure and of course also raising the temperature when we put in heat both temperature and pressure increase the specific volume of the vapor decreases significantly remember this is a log scale the specific volume of the liquid increases a much smaller amount but it does increase as liquid expands when heated until they have identical properties, and so if we were looking at this, and there are screencasts that demonstrate this, and we have an interface between, so we'd have vapor and liquid, and then as we heat it, this interface gets faint, faint and eventually disappears, and then we have a supercritical fluid. So we'll look now at the simulation to demonstrate this, this behavior. So let's use this interactive simulation observed behavior. We're starting out at 141 degrees C and the quality is slightly less than 0 0.01, less, slightly less than 1% by mass of the waters in the vapor phase. So as I add heat, of course the temperature increases and the pressure increases significantly. And you notice we have more volume, more of the green representing volume on the right side. 
And so the amount of liquids decreasing, the, the amount of vapor is increasing overall. We're at constant volume. And as we keep adding heat, we're going to get to the point where we have almost no liquid. And then eventually get above the saturated line. Now we have all vapor and we can just heat that. And of course the, the density won't change. As we heat it, the temperature will increase, as we expect for most gases. Let's look at the other extreme. So now you can see there's very little volume of vapor, and the quality is less than two-tenths of a percent of the total mass in the vapor phase. As I raise the temperature, as I add heat to the system, of course I'm raising temperature and pressure, the Relative amounts don't change a lot. The volume's becoming more dense for the vapor phase. Liquid becoming slightly less dense. The liquid's expanding. And eventually we get to the point where we hit the saturated liquid line. If I keep raising, now we have all liquid that forms. So vapor-liquid mixture, but we have the vapor volume decreasing mass of vapor decreasing, mass liquid increasing as the liquid expands. The third situation look at least close to the critical point. So here the quality is 2% vapor and as I add heat notice that there appears to be more vapor and less liquid by volume. The changes are such that notice the colors of the vapor and liquid are getting closer to each other. This is indicating that the densities are getting much closer to each other. And then if I add just a little more, I'm going to get right near the critical point. And now you'll notice the densities, the colors almost look identical. So that adding a little more heat and I'll be in one phase, the supercritical region. So the liquid and vapor approach each other in density.